You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike Air Humara. These are the Nike Air Humara in black and silver. It's been a minute since we reviewed something like this, but over here at Shoot Your Shot TV, we love trail runners, ACGs, etc. So we want to give a huge shout out to 1985 Gallery for letting us get a look at these. The Nike Air Humara is a 90s trail runner, very bulky shape to it. And the upper consists of a variety of different textured overlays. You have leather, mesh, right here at the tongue. You do have that mesh overlay that sits atop a nylon tongue. You do have a nylon pull tab in black and gray. You do have some Nike branding embroidered onto this leather oval at the top of the tongue. They come with black oval laces. You do have this nylon lacing structure for the eyelets and going down the middle of the tongue as well. You have more mesh here at the toe box and you also have this big shiny 3M hit with a black swoosh embroidered on. And then you have a leather overlay for the mud guard taking us to the side panel of the shoe, more of that variety of different textured overlays. You've got the mesh, the synthetic leather, and you have these nylon straps that are stitched on, but they're also connected to the lacing system. Right behind that, you do have this leather Nike swoosh, a little bit smaller than your standard Nike swooshes. And taking us to the tail end of the side of the shoe, you have the word air embroidered onto one of the leather overlays. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you do have a, another pull tab in black and gray, another 3M hit, and another silver Nike swoosh embroidered onto the leather overlay on the back of the heel cup. And taking us to the midsole, you do have this checkered pattern into the naked eye. You might think it's just checkered print on a rubberized midsole, but if you really get to touch this and feel it, it is a nice neoprene nylon textile that's kind of like vacuum sealed onto the midsole. It's a nice touch. Taking us to the outsole, you have this very rugged rubberized traction with deep thick lugs to give you a real firm grip on the trails. What you don't see is the Zoom Air in the forefoot and the Nike Air in the back of the heel. For those of you who might not know, the Nike Air Humara was originally released back in 1997. They were made for the trails and the outdoors, but today they're more so of a lifestyle, street style shoe, but they still have a lot of outdoorsy aesthetic to it. They have that chunky midsole. It's just a bulky shoe overall. Over the last year, we've seen a handful of colors such as Faded Spruce, Oil Green, Midnight Navy. Even in 2017, Supreme put their twist on these, stepping away from the outdoors, earth tone colors, and giving them a really bright, vibrant look, dressing them up in fire pink and blue lagoon and a neon green. Those colors were crazy. And personally, for the longest time, I always thought that the Air Humara was part of Nike's ACG line, but it's just Nike Trail. Very similar to the Nike Air Terra Humara. We previously reviewed a pair of those. Make sure you check it out. But both of those shoes, they look like they fit in the ACG catalog. They look the part, they feel the part, but they're their own thing. Not sure why that is. If you guys know, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to find out. And some other vintage Nike trail runners that I'd like to see them bring back include the Nike Air Terra Sertig and the Nike Air Albus. Nike, bring those back, the crazy colors on those. We need them, we'd love to get our hands on those. These released in 2023 and they're available at 1985 Gallery right now at a price point for 160. There's a bunch of colorways out there as well. And if you're not in the area and you're in no rush to pick these up, you might be able to wait it out and get them on discount a little down the line. As far as comfort and sizing goes, I suggest going true to size. And they're really comfortable for being this bulky and being a little bit on the heavier side. You could definitely feel the zoom air in the forefoot and you could definitely feel that Nike air in the back of the heel. As far as style goes, of course, the original purpose was for the outdoors, but more and more I've been seeing people wear these casually, lifestyle shoe. I've even seen some girls in my favorite K-pop band, New Jeans. They were wearing a couple pairs of these, and it's just a very versatile shoe. It really goes with the Gorp Core aesthetic that's really in right now. You can pair with Arc'teryx, North Face, all that good stuff to keep you warm, especially in the winter season. And even in the summertime, take these outdoors, pair with a nice pair of tech shorts. You really can't go wrong. But how do you guys feel about the Nike Air Humara? Is this something that you've already picked up? Do you like this colorway? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate any and all support. But let's go ahead and try these on.
to be put on. I went and got it on my own, that's for sure, dog. Might put up on ATVs. Then hit the trail in ACGs, cause we outside. Never asked to be put on. I went and got it on my own, that's for sure, dog. Might put up on ATVs. Then hit the trail in ACGs, cause we outside. Ready for all conditions, I'm outside with it. I might go fishing, no, I do not hold feelings. I go off road if the road missing. You know that the flow different. Shooting shots while all these hoes go. If you enjoyed this review on the Nike Air Humara, make sure you check out all our other ACG reviews right here. Got a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy. We'll catch you on the next episode. Oh, subscribe though.